Does idiopathic hypersomnia exist? Maybe. And I bet you thought I was going to say unlikely. I'm Dr. Andy Burkowski of Relax Health, and I want to talk about this condition, idiopathic hypersomnia, also called IH or hypersomnolence. Well, what does it mean? Well, if you get to the root of the word, idiopathic means we don't really know what causes it. Hypersomnia comes from the Latin origins, meaning excessive amount of sleep. Somnia comes from somnus, meaning sleep. And hypersomnia is a condition in which people sleep long hours and are basically drowsy or tired all of the time. Unfortunately, most of the people diagnosed with idiopathic hypersomnia, because of course it is idiopathic, we don't know what causes it, don't really have the condition. The reason they don't have the condition is because it relies on the multiple sleep latency test or MSLT to diagnose it. So it's basically a diagnosis by a test, but the test isn't based on any biological evidence. Now, there, there is some research out of Emory with uh, doctors Lynn Marie Trotty and David Rye that show that possibly this condition may have overactivity of a brain chemical called GABA, the GABA receptors in the brain. And GABA is a chemical that really slows the brain down or makes us sleep more or make us very sleepy. So there's some theory behind that, but that has not been uh, followed up uh, for the past several years with further research to explain this. It's most likely that idiopathic hypersomnia is just people having other common causes of sleep difficulties, whether it's an inappropriate sleep schedule, sleeping at the wrong time of the day, insufficient sleep, or even medications that cause people to be sleepy or sleep too long. Those aren't idiopathic, those are very common causes, but the problem is this MSLT is used way too much and it tells people that they fall asleep too quickly. In fact, the MSLT is a series of five naps that are done during the day, and if you were to fall asleep in less than eight minutes on average on these tests, you could be diagnosed with idiopathic hypersomnia. However, the average medical resident in the hospital falls asleep on an average of less than eight minutes. They don't have idiopathic hypersomnia. They've got shift work and sleep deprivation that cause their symptoms. So yeah, there are some people who may have a unique condition. We just have not fully elucidated what that condition is. And the classic idiopathic hypersomnia are people who sleep nine, 10 hours a night. They sleep very deeply. They don't wake up at all. And then in the morning they have tremendous what we call sleep inertia or sleep drunkenness, where it seems like you woke them up out of a deep sleep when their alarm goes off, but they slept 10 hours like a rock. And then throughout the day, they're very sleepy. There does seem to be a classic subset of people like that, but it's very hard without knowing the biology and without having an objective test to fully diagnose this condition. So right now I'm standing on the fence on whether this condition really exists, but I can guarantee you the majority of patients who have been diagnosed with this condition have very common causes of poor sleep quality and daytime sleepiness that should be investigated first. Remember, this video is for general information purposes only, does not constitute the practice of medicine, and all medical decisions should be made under the supervision of a physician or medical provider who is licensed. And remember, to sleep well is to relax.